Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to do code collaboration in GitHub. Now if you have a GitHub account, what you usually do is you can create your own repository and push your own personal pet project. You can just push it to a repository and then you can directly push it to the master branch. But what happens when you're in a tech company and you have a, a, a code base that you would have to push and write code to but it's not your code base it's someone else's so definitely you can't just push directly to the master branch so in that case you would have to create a pull request a pull request is essentially a branch from the master branch where you would write a certain version of the branch where you would add certain features to the branch and then try to get it reviewed by another engineer and then that engineer will eventually push the code to the master so let's get started on how to create a pull request. So this is a repository over here that I have access to and I want to push code to this pull request. The first step to create to pushing code to this repository is to create a fork of this branch. So I will just create a fork of this branch and then it will just basically be my version of this branch. So this is my version with my username that's forked from the original um, code base. Now the, the next thing that I would have to do is clone this repository, not my repository, not my version of the repository, but the original version of the repository. So I just copy this and then paste this here. So this gets cloned. And then now if I just go to this repository, I'll see the code. Now, the first thing that I would have to do is create a branch from this master. Let me just create a branch with this command which is checking out to another branch separate from the master branch so this will be basically like I'll add a hello world program so I'll just name this branch like so it could be anything you can name this branch anything but make sure to separate the words with a dash or an underscore now in this will also contain same version of the master nothing nothing different so that I've just checked the commit logs in with this command which is git log the next thing is I want to add a hello world um, program to it so let me just add a hello world.js file right so now let me open this up in my code editor and I can see my hello world file now let me just write a, f a simple function a print function that would just that will just print hello world and I'll print this up so let me I've saved it now let me check out let me see what kind of files I've committed uh, I have added um, to this branch so this is a file and this is untracked this hasn't been co been committed uh, and it's untracked right now so in order to add and commit this file I would basically have to add hello world.js and this just pushes this file to a queue of the files that I would want to commit, the changes that I want to commit. So the only change I've made this to, to this file at this point is, so the only thing that I've added to this file is a print function. So add hello world print. Now you might notice that I haven't written added hello world print. It, it, it's it's more like a, a commanding sentence than a sentence that, that says that I've done it. So the convention, the usual convention for writing commit messages, it's usually an actionable verb. So I would say add this, update that. So this is the kind of convention that every engineer, usually most engineers follow while uh, pushing uh, writing commit messages. Right, so I've hit enter and this has been committed. Now let me check my log. Right, so I have added hello world print function and this is my commit so this is my username um, which is different and this is the master branch so this is the branch that has moved away from master branch but I want to push this eventually to the master branch cool so now that I have committed my code now the next thing to do is creating a pull request so the the way I would do it is I would have to add my remote branch so right now I would the only remote branches that I have is the origin branch but now I want to push to my fork instead of the master master branch so the way to do that is basically going to the forks and then going to my version of it and then copy the clone URL and then adding the remote like so get remote 
add me so this is my remote so i have given it my name uh, it could be i could have just written m sintaha but me is easier so right so now if i check the remote i have me and origin now i want to push to my fork me add hello world so this is basically the remote name and this is the branch name so now this will get pushed to my branch. Finally, I can create a pull request. So if I paste this link here, now I can create a pull request, which is very simple now because we have the link given to us. And this I'm trying to compare across forks. So this is the main fork with the master branch, and this is my fork with the new feature branch. And I want to uh, give some details about uh, what what I've done. And I guess the the subject itself is self-explanatory. You can, if you have more commit messages or more stuff to write in your feature branch, then you will just write it in the description over here. And finally, you can also assign someone. So I can assign Foxtrot Blip to review my PR, my pull request, um, and then I can create a pull request. So I've created a pull request and I've assigned Foxtrot Blip to basically review my pull request. So as you can see, a pull request has been successfully created and this can be merged and reviewed by Foxtrot Blip or it could be just approved and I myself can merge it. And that's about it on how to create a pull request in GitHub.